suffering hearing loss to multiple beefs with multiple artists. The TV show, The Rap Game. This is Where Are They Now? Super Peach. I'm grown now. I hold my own down. Got some scammers and some takers on the phone route. And if you check it, there's know that we be getting. Born Peach. Yes, that is her real name. Uh, Moni Valero. And again, I am so bad at pronunciation, so excuse me if I did pronounce it wrong. On March 7th, 2003, this makes her 19 in the Virgin Islands in the UK. She is of Korean, Hispanic, and Pacific Islander descent. Now, her mom, who was also her manager at the time, Josetta, along with her older sister, Precious. Now, she also has three other siblings, including a twin brother. Unfortunately, around the age of two or three, Super Peach suffered multiple ear infection, which caused her to have slight loss of hearing, a small percentage, according to her, on an interview that she had did. On top of that, she was diagnosed with asthma, and ADHD, which is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. When she was three, her family ended up moving to the United States to Florida. She first started rapping at the age of 10. And at the age of 12, Lifetime reached out to her mother and her sister and stated that they were familiar with her work and asked her if she wanted to participate on a competition-like show called The Rap Game, where she competes with teens around her age for a recording contract with Jermaine Dupri, which is the executive producer of the show and the owner of the label So So Death. So Super Peach participated in that show from January to February of 2016, along four other castmates. First one is named Big Lotto, who was formerly known as Miss Lotto, which won the competition. Little Poopy, Young Lyric, and Little Nico, which I have already did a video on Young Lyric and Little Nico. So if you haven't saw those two, I would strongly recommend you to watch those next. Now, the show's first season was a smash hit, bringing in 1.7 million viewers every single Friday. This also brought the network Lifetime a whole new audience while exceeding everyone's expectations. Super Peach, though, came in as fourth runner-up. Now, I will be breaking down each one of Super Peach's beefs. Now, when it comes to Big Lotto, their beef was pretty much shown throughout the show as Lotto always made in front of Super Peach for not writing her own lyrics to where Super Peach says she does write, but she does have a team to help her, such as everyone else. And again, that's what really started their beef. Now, their beef really got ignited during the Rap Games reunion show. This is where Super Peach and Big Lotto got into a heated argument over her not writing her rhymes. To where the executive producer of the show, The Rap Game, and the label owner of So So Deaf, Jermaine Dupri, had to step in and point out that their argument was stupid as that's not the most important thing. To which they still continue to argue. With Big Lotto getting upset at everyone for not letting her finish her statement about her talking about Super Peach not writing her lyrics, and she was, which caused her to yell at Young Lyric's mother to where Young Lyric stepped in and told her not to yell at her mom like that because Young Lyric's mom just said that Big Lotto made it a big deal the whole show after Jermaine Dupri said what he had to say. 
after young Lyric's mom interrupted Big Lotto to say she did make it a big deal the whole show after what Jermaine Dupri said, which caused Super Peach to step back in, take off her jacket, then call Lotto trailer trash and said that Lotto doesn't even run the South Side, which is what Lotto claimed that whole season, that she's from the South Side of Atlanta. This caused... Big Lotto and Super Peach to stand up. The cameras cut. And then when it came back, them and their parents, along with Lyric and her parents, got kicked off the couch. And the rest of the reunion was done without them. Now, in a Instagram live years later, Super Peach's mom said that Super Peach actually ended up getting into altercation with Lotto and got a few licks in and that Jermaine Dupri still has the tape and should release it because Lifetime did cut out that scene because I know I watched the reunion and I did not see that and I did look but to this day the footage has not been released therefore you cannot see it anywhere. Super Peach Mom also went on to say that Jermaine Dupri should release the footage so we can see Super Peach getting in her licks before security broke up the fight and continued on the show. But this did cause the two to beef for years down the line. Now, while doing my research on their beef, I found another incident. This one happened around May of 2019. The two got into it again, this time at the Trap Festival. Now, right after the fight, Super Peach went on Instagram Live to give her account of what happened. This is where she said that both her and Big Lotto were performing. Now, she said Big Lotto did her set, got off the stage, but remained there. She said that Lotto was with a gang of people, about 30 people. To which she only had her and her family, which was there as about five of them total. She went on to say that as she was walking up to the stage to do her performance, Lotto's dad began to talk mess to Super Peach's twin brother. So Super Peach said, of course, her brother stood up for himself and started to talk trash back. And then a brawl started. Hold on, wait, wait, why am I not recording? I'm not recording. Hey, wait, where am I? Oh! Sam! Oh! 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 Lotto sicked her security guard on them, even pepper spraying her brother. As Lotto, her mother, and Lotto's sister booked it. <laughs> Super Peach also said on her life with her who she did with her family. They were all wondering why, because Lotto was just saying in a second diss track. That when she sees Supa, she's going to rock her as she doesn't care about going to jail. Therefore, to that, Supa Peach said, then why run? And ended it and ended her live with, if she wasn't going to fight, talking about Big Lotto, if you ain't going to do what you rap about, which she was talking about fighting, then don't rap about. Now, to which Lotto also did an Instagram later, but she really didn't address the incident. The only thing she would say about it is that she doesn't fight because she can't afford to go back to jail as she pays for too many people's lifestyles, so they are not going to let her fight. Um, this caused a lot of people to call this Instagram live into question because like Super Peach said, she does rap about fighting a lot. So why rap about it if you ain't about it? But whatever. 
I, I just feel like it's all for entertainment purposes. Um, of course, like I said, I'm saying it because it's part of Super Story. But of course, everybody knows now that Big Lotto is now huge with her new song, Big Energy, being out there. But anyways, getting back to Lotto's Instagram Live. So she also said that she was in the hood, but by the time she knew anything, she was already out the hood. So I'm assuming by the time she was two or three, she's saying they had already moved into the suburbs. So she doesn't know anything about the hood. Now, which she really doesn't rap about the hood. She really raps about Atlanta, which that's where she was, where she was growing up. But anyways, that's pretty much all she said in her live. Again, she really didn't uh, address the incident. So now back to Super Peach. In May of 2017, Super Peach also participated in the rap game tour called the So So Deaf 17 tour in over 20 cities with some of the other contestants from her season of the rap game alongside some of the other seasons. Also with some other so so deaf artist. Now she had another beef, this time with Detronada, who was not even on her season. She was on season three, a completely different season from hers of the rap game. Now I will be breaking down their beef. So how their beef started was Super was on one of season three's episodes and did a rap battle and was in a rap battle against Di Trinado. Now the beef started because Di Trinado talked about Super Peach being partially deaf to where Super thought Di Trinado took a really low blow and went below the belt. Therefore, Supa started talking about Di Trinata, throwing subs on all of Supa's lives. And when Di Trinata called her out about it, asking who was she talking about, Supa denied she was talking about Di Trinata. But Di Trinata did not believe Supa Peach. And Di Trinata ended up going on her own Instagram live where she called out Supa Peach and even said when Supa Peach was on that episode, they both agreed that no one would take anything personal. And of course, because it's a rap battle, hello, you're supposed to go below the belt. So I kind of agree with Dietrich on that one, but maybe that's just me. You guys let me know what you think down below. Now on Dietrich live, she went on to say that Super called her a D-I-K-E, again, can't say that on here, and a gorilla. Oof, I hope that's not right. But anyways, Di Trinata also said that she knew she didn't like peach as her favorite fruit was pineapple. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything. <laughs> well, that's pretty funny. She, she should have did a diss record and put that in there. But anyways, she also called out Supa for acting hard and said that she's really not. Um, then she said that... Supa probably watches all of Di Trinata's lives lurking. <laughs> um, she said that Super Peach was the opening act for the tour because everyone on the rap game tour really came to see her, Big Lotto, and Nova. Wow. Maybe that's true because, yeah, the opening act is usually the weakest one. But again, that's just me. Let me know what you guys think down below. Now, Dietrichana then said, Super said that she would catch a flight to Dietrichana. But Dietrichana said, with what money? As she felt that Super was broke because she wasn't booking no shows. And at the time, she was not putting out any music. Dietrichana continued her life by saying, where was all of this energy when they were on tour together? Because they were on tour together after their season or after the rap battle. So she was saying that if 
she was so upset about what happened during the rap battle, then how come she didn't bring that same energy to where I say that makes sense? You know, that's the reason why I pointed this out, even though it's Supa's video. This is about Supa. But again, Dichunata is correct. Why would you wait to do an Instagram live later or throw subliminals later? Like, why would you just not talk about it right then and there or throw subs right then and there? Why do it after, way after the tour? You know, of course, it's years ago from now, but the tour was in 2017. So it was a year after that. Then she brought Big Lotto into it, saying that after or during every set on the tour, Big Lotto was performing her diss track or her response diss track uh, that she had made about Lyric. But she does mention Super Peach in the diss track, um, saying that she needs to be wearing some type of cape or something because, you know, Super Peach wears a cape or did at the time. If you guys did watch the rap Maybe. game to stay relevant as Supa has no music out right now. Then Dietronada started talking about Supa Peach's big sister, um, you know, who was who's also her manager or part of her management team, saying that Precious, which is Supa Peach's sister's name, was trying to holler at Dietronada's brother. But Dietronada said that he said he does not want anyone who's ran up. Whatever that means. <laughs> but again, I'm 34, so I don't know all this lingo. <laughs> Anyways, um, maybe my younger audience could tell me down below. Dietronada then ended off by saying that there was no way that Supa can make her C-U-T-T-I-N-G. Again, I can't say that on here. Herself, as Dietronada says, she always stays booked and busy. Therefore, nobody can take her back to the horrible, dark place ever again. Now, of course, Super Peach responded to Dietronada's live with her own Instagram live. To where she said that Dietronada had all her fan pages change their profile pictures to hearing aids. Wow. To which Dietronada did deny that on a future life. But um, anyways, going back to Super Peach's response um, life, Super also said that she didn't even know anything about Dietronada's depression at the time, so she wouldn't talk about it or I guess make in front of it, which I think Dietronada was insinuating during her life. Again, both lives are on YouTube if you would like to watch either one of the lives or both of them. Now, um, Super Peach on her live, she accused of Dietronada bopping off Nova. That one means giving him head. I know what that one means. <laughs> um, she also said that, uh, and Nova was on the same season as Dietronada. Nova was the winner of season three. Anyways, she also said that Roscoe would co-sign this, which was again, also on Dietronada's same season. But again, I will look more into that when I get to Roscoe's video, which when I get to season three, um, I'm trying to go in order. Regarding brothers, super now regarding brothers, super peach said that Dietronada actually tried to holla at her twin brother and said that her brother does not want Dietronada because she's a butter teeth blowfish butt. <laughs> Oh my God, these people and their insults. Then she went on to say that Dietronada's box is hot. I'm assuming meaning sleeps around, but whatever. Or has some type of STD. But again, she didn't go into detail. Now, Supa said, Dietra said that Supa and her twin are incest. To where, of course, Supa quickly denied. Now, they are super close, but again, it could be because they're twins. So I don't know why Dietronada said incest, but again, neither one of them went into full detail. Um, Supa just wanted to bring it up to deny it. Now, Supa did end her life by going a little below the belt, 
saying that she doesn't know if Dietronata wants to be a boy or a girl because she was acting so much like a boy the whole time she was on the rap game show. But upset when JD made a comment about she needs to be more girly and has been dressing more girly if you see any of her recent um, pictures. But again, like I said, I'm going to go more into Dietronata when I get to their season. Now, Super Peach also interviewed with Vlad TV, explained that she has became in high demand after the show, doing modeling alongside of acting and rapping, booking big shows, and opening up for big artists. Today, Super Peach currently resides in Atlanta, Georgia. She's currently single with no children. Uh, Super Peach currently has 2.1 million followers on Instagram, over 497,000 subscribers on YouTube, over 67,000 followers on Twitter, and over 1,200 monthly listeners on Spotify. Now, I do want to do an honorable mention, which is Big Lotto, as I will not be doing her on this season um, because, of course, we can see how she did. She did really, really good on her season, and she really did good now as, again, I talked about her song a little bit earlier, but her song Big Energy is one of the biggest songs right now and even is nominated for a Grammy. So, you know, we kind of already know how her story's going. I kind of want to look at a little bit of the smaller people just because they're really not talked about to let you know how their lives are going. Now, um, Little Poopy will be my last one. Then I will be moving on to season two. So stay tuned for more videos of the series, the whole series. Also, if you like this type of content, please engage with the content. This includes hitting that like button, commenting, and sharing the videos. Because when you do, this pushes my video through the YouTube algorithm. So YouTube will push my content out to more viewers. And if you guys have anyone you would like me to cover next after I am done with the series, please let me know down below as I do documentaries on anyone over here. Bye.